Hi, today I have a problem for you. This problem has three questions. And uh, if you feel like you can solve this problem, you may stop video here. Try to make your own calculations and you can run video again and compare your calculations with my cal calculations and uh, my expo explanations. So, uh, for those of you who cannot solve this problem, I guarantee you that in a few minutes you would be able easily to solve such problems and analogous problems. And uh, here is a problem. A couple are both tested and found to be carriers of the cystic fibrosis gene. If they have two children, what is the chance that both will be affected by cystic fibrosis? So this is our first question. And in order to solve this problem, uh, this answer this question, we have to build a Punnett square. So here would be parent 1. This is going to be male. And uh, this parent have to be um, heterozygous for this um, trait and this disease. And the parent 2 also must be heterozygous. Uh, in order to transfer this disease to the progeny and uh, this is going to be female here so here is our Punnett square in the first uh, square we have capital A, capital A, and that means that this child is going to be um, healthy. And here we have capital A, small a, and that means carrier, just like a parent, parent 1 or parent 2. And here we have small a, capital A, and this is also going to be a carrier. And here we have small a, small a, and that means that this is going to be affected child. So uh, we have one fourth chances that this couple would have affected child. And in our first question, uh, we have uh, if this couple would have two children, what is the chances that both would be affected by cystic fibrosis? Uh, so that means that we have uh, one fourth chances for the first child to be affected and same chances for the second child. So for the second child, um, chances is also one fourth. And now we have to use a uh, rule of multiplication and our answer for this first question would be 1 16 chances that two children in a row would have uh, this disease would be affected. And um, now we can move to the second question. What is the chance that both will be carriers? And as you see here, we have uh, two out of four chances that a child uh, can be a carrier. So we have one half chances. And uh, this, the same thing here. We have one half chances for the first child and one half chances for the second child. So we have to just multiply these chances and this is going to be one fourth. So we have one fourth chances that if this couple would have two children, that those children, uh, both of them would have uh, uh, cystic fibrosis, uh, would be um, carriers for this disease. So uh, this was answer for the second question and now the last one. What are the chances that they will have two girls that are both affected by cystic fibrosis? 
So, uh, what are the chances for the first child to be a girl? And this is one half. And what are the chances for the second child to be a girl? This is one again, one half. And this gives us one fourth chances for both children to be a girl. And uh, now uh, the question is um, that what are the chances for both of them to be affected? And we already find that for two children this is going to be 116 and we just have to multiply these chances using rule of multiplication and that give us 1 over 64. So this is uh, our answer for the last question and this is for the second question. So uh, hopefully now you better understand how to solve such problems and uh, believe me that many many problems in genetics um, can be solved uh, when you know how to solve analogous problems because many problems just repetition uh, of the same problems just with a different numbers and by the way there is one more way how to solve uh, the last question and here it is uh, what is the chances for the first uh, girl uh, for, for the first child to be a girl this is one half chances and what is the chances for this girl to be affected and this is one fourth so we have to multiply these chances and what is the chances for the second child to be a girl? This is one half chances. And what is the chances for the second girl to be uh, affected? This is one fourth chances. So uh, the answer would be the same. You just keep one uh, calculations just using logic. So, uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.